All right, guys. Hey, this will be the, the last baseball video for a couple weeks. I'm going to London, England. I'll be back the week of May 1. So the next baseball video will come out the week of, of May 1. Until, I'm get, uh, until I get back, still keep an eye on the Attack the Rack YouTube channel as I will still be posting shorts, including shorts of my time in London. I'm super excited. And we'll get back to the podcast, the weight loss video series, and the baseball video series upon my return. Today, I just finished watching the Oakland A's uh, at the Baltimore Orioles. What an exciting finish there was to that game. Uh, it was a high-scoring game, a lot of hits. I think there was 21 hits in the game. Um, so... As I always do, the first thing I did was I took a look at each of the rosters to see if there was any names I recognized, and I didn't recognize a single name on either roster. So uh, I've now watched eight different teams play, and still I am at a total of 12 uh, players that I that I knew of. So um, you know, one other thing I haven't mentioned yet: my goal is to watch every single team play. I'm trying to watch as many teams as I can before I start uh, having duplicates. Um, I really want to watch, I really wanted to watch the the Tampa Bay, uh, Tampa Bay Rays play before I headed to London, but looking ahead at their schedule, there are no Rays games on in my market prior to my departure for London, so that will be a top priority when I get back uh, trying to watch the Rays play. All right, so coming into today's game, the A's were three and nine, and the Orioles were six and six. Starting pitcher for the A's today, Adam Aller, and starting pitcher for the Baltimore Orioles was Cole Irvin. Neither pitcher pitched well. Neither pitcher went deep into the game. The A's got the scoring started in the top half of the first inning. Estrella Ruiz led the game off with a double. And then he scored on a Brent Rooker uh, sack fly. The Orioles then came back and scored three runs in the bottom half of the second on four hits, highlighted by first baseman Ryan O'Hearn's single that uh, knocked in two runs. O'Hearn was playing in his first game with the Orioles. Then in the top half of the third, the Orioles took the lead back on a three-run homer by Rooker, taking a 4-3 lead. And then in the bottom half of the third, the Orioles tied it right back up at four. On Ryan Mountcastle's sixth home run of the season, he has six home runs already in uh, 13 games. The Orioles then tacked on three more runs. O'Hearn got his third RBI of the game on a sack fly, and shortstop Jorge Mateo got his second RBI of the game. Uh, A's starting pitcher Adam Aller got pulled after just uh, one out in that third inning. So the Orioles took a 7-4 lead into the fourth inning. Uh, that lead would quickly get cut to 7-6 to six on a Ruiz single. In the top half of the fifth, the A's tied the game at 7 when Brent Rooker hit a home run over the left field wall. The game was still tied in the eighth inning, and it would remain that way after Orioles' second baseman, Taron Vavra, was thrown out at the plate after tagging, ending the eighth inning. And then one of the coolest moments in all of sports, the walk-off home run. In the bottom of the ninth, Adley Rutschman blasted a home run to right center, giving the Orioles the 8-7 victory. Felix Bautista got the win for the Orioles, and Trevor May took the loss for the A's. All right, guys, I'll see you when I get back from London. Please subscribe to the Attack the Rack YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you are updated every time we post. Also, please like, comment, and share.